So this problem says a rocket is launched vertically upwards from the ground. The rocket travels with uniform acceleration. That's one important thing to notice. It also says it is travels from rest. It's another important thing to notice. After eight seconds, the speed of the rocket is 120 meters per second. Calculate the acceleration of the rocket. Okay. So with some of these keywords, first of all, it says that it's uniform acceleration. So if it's uniform acceleration, we can use the formula acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over change in time. Or you can call it change in time, or you can call it final time minus initial time if um, if you have final and initial specifically given. So this is the formula for uniform acceleration. Not just any acceleration. It's only if it's only uniform or average acceleration. Okay, and when it says it starts from rest, I like to kind of list out um, the things that I have and what I need. So what we're looking for is acceleration. Acceleration is what we're looking for. And in the acceleration formula, we have final velocity. It says after 8.0 sec seconds, the speed of the rocket is 120 meters per second. We know it's traveling vertically upwards, so a speed going vertically, going upwards, is considered a positive speed. So this would be final velocity is 120, a positive 120 meters per second. And our initial velocity, it says it starts from rest. So rest means it's not moving, that would be zero. And to be consistent with the units, we can call it meters per second. Our change in time is like the duration of travel, which is, it says it travels for 8.0 seconds. So that would be our delta T, our change in time. This triangle looking symbol is the Greek letter delta, meaning change in. Okay, so let's plug in. So we have everything that we need in this formula. We just don't have acceleration, so we can solve for that. So acceleration is equal to final velocity is 120. And by the way, I like to first confirm that my units are consistent and then plug them in without the units because it just gets a little messy to plug it in with units. So our final velocity is meters per second. Our initial velocity is meters per second. So those are consistent. That means that our numerator is going to be in a meters per second. And um, time is in seconds. So that's consistent with the meters per second from velocity. So the, the denominator is going to be in a unit of seconds. Okay, so we can plug in final velocity is 120 minus initial velocity is zero. Divide that by our change in time, which is 8.0. So subtracting first, 120 minus zero is just 120. Divide that by eight. And oh, let me grab my calculator, one second. Sorry, my calculator is on my iPad, so it's taking a second to come up. While we do that, um, the acceleration is always going to be in a unit of distance per time squared. So since our unit of distance is meters, that's going to be our distance, and per, the denominator is always going to be time squared. So our time is in a unit of seconds, so it's going to be a unit of meters per second squared. Okay, and my calculator is up now. 120 divided by 8 is 15. So the answer is 15 meters per second. If you need to make sure that it um, has the proper amount of sig figs, 120 has two sig figs, 8.0 also has two sig figs, so the answer 
confirm that it has two sig figs. If you have any questions about the sig figs, let me know, and um, I can do a separate video on that to explain. So there we go. The acceleration of the rocket is 15 meters per second. And just as a general check, because it is accelerating upwards, um, remember upwards is a positive um, like vector quantity. So this should be a positive vector quantity just to check it by um, kind of by using logic. Okay, so I hope this homework help video was helpful for you. If it was, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more similar homework help videos. Also, feel free to leave any questions if you'd like to um, have those answered, or if you have a different question that you'd like to see a video on, I'm doing my best to get as many out as I can. Thanks for watching.